So of course we're in India, but I've never actually answered the question of why we moved here in the first place from Nepal. And especially since Nepal has like my heart, I love living there. I lived there for five years. And of course the difference of living there is a lot different than here in India. I've only been here for three, four months now, but I really, really loved living in Nepal. I would, I want to go back already and live there. Life is just easy, but the reason that we did move to India is a couple different things. The first and not the first, but I guess the easiest one is, of course, Pooja is Nepali and it's hard for her to travel to a lot of places without visas and everything. So India, open border, no need for visa, easy, let's go. The second and actually like the real reason is I was working in Nepal for the last five years or so, living, working all throughout the country. And eventually I was working as a consultant for the World Bank. And as those projects went on, I realized that my dream of working in the development field was maybe not my real dream. There was a lot of struggles throughout that job and the stress and the expectations and the top down kind of structure that leaves out a lot of capacity for people at the bottom, the people that are actually working with, you know, the, the partners in the program, the women that we were working with, we were working with a hundred different micro enterprises women-led micro enterprises and so i was working directly with them but i didn't get the option opportunity to you know voice their concerns their opinions all the decisions were coming from the top <clears throat> and so there was a lot of other things and even worse things than that that i did not necessarily agree with or like so i ended up quitting leaving that job and because of that i had to leave nepal visa ran out visa issues and all that stuff so but coming here to india we decided to pick india once we had to leave because very similar to nepal we both thought it would be an easy move very very close culturally wise religion wise uh demographics all these kind of things very very similar so we're like hey maybe we should check out check out Yay. india and Pooja really really wanted to go to jayapur she wanted to come here to ride us down, see the forts, see the palaces. And we went back and forth. Do we go down to Pondicherry? Do we go to, to Jaipur? Do we go to Thailand? Do we maybe Sri Lanka? And we eventually landed on Jaipur and Rajasthan. Uh, do I regret moving here? No, not at all. I love India so far. It's been a really, really cool place to live. Really enjoyed it. Different, way different than I thought it was gonna be. I don't know if you can hear me over this loud train here. Just give you a little glimpse of the train. There she goes. So even though I was saying that it's very, we thought it would be very similar. We found out pretty quickly that it's, it's like completely different. And especially moving from Pokhara, which is on the smaller side, hundreds of thousands of people to here in Jaipur where there's like four million people and the amount of noise and the infrastructure and the opportunity and just I think the hustle and bustle of people and the need like everyone is always in a hurry everyone's trying to do something everybody I talk to is always like what do you do and I'm like oh we're traveling relaxing and they're like I'm doing business and I'm like how can everyone here do business I don't understand but that leads into another reason actually of why we came here so we I've talked about this before is that we're trying to, you know, build a website and build an online business and presence and make money through ads and do all this kind of stuff. So we figured since we both were not working anymore, since we both decided to leave our jobs to leave, and we were like, we need to go somewhere cheap. We need to go somewhere that we can afford our lifestyle all while trying to build up our business and everything. And so we landed on India and it's been really, really helpful actually to live here because we do have limited income source right now. And because of the cost of living here, we've been able to sustain our life all while like building as fast as we can with our business. And it's been, it was a good choice because we, like you can save a lot of money. It's quite frankly, you can just save a lot of money living here in India. And it's given us the extra time and the opportunity that we've needed to build up our business and our website and all this stuff and do fun things like YouTube and talk to you guys and talk to all our friends. So I think it's paying off. We're seeing um, progress and living here has been extremely, extremely helpful. But now we are also thinking again, where to move, where to go next. So 
we have two more months there's visa things here in india so six months i can stay here Pooja can live here as long as she wants forever and ever because open border between nepal and india but i have a few more months on the visa and then so we're trying to decide do we go back to nepal do we go to thailand do we maybe venture down and go to sri lanka we've both been obviously in nepal we've also both been to thailand so we're thinking maybe try somewhere new sri lanka and we're trying to find other places that do have these cost, low cost of livings and stuff like that. So if you as friends have ever, where would you go? I don't know. Would you go to somewhere new like Sri Lanka? Would you maybe try a different country kind of in this region? Just remember Pooja has a lot of visa restrictions. It's hard for her. So. But Sri Lanka is an option for us. Thailand is another option. So going back to Nepal, since we do miss Nepal, just let us know where you would go. So. Those are the main reasons that we ended up leaving India. We just, visa issues for Pooja and coming to a new country, visa issues for me staying in Nepal, quitting my job, leaving my job because actually my dream wasn't to work in the development field because there's just a lot of things that are actually really, really wrong with it. So we're gonna actually go up these stairs, <laughs> ask Pooja for the ending, why? Why we, uh, why we left Nepal and came to India. Why did we leave Nepal, come to India? I said, visa issues for you. And because I quit my job, why did you, why did we pick Nepal? Why did we, we pick Nepal? <laughs> why did we, why did we pick India? Because I wanted to come to Rajasthan. Oh, I mentioned that too. Did you? Ah, oh, that you oh. wanted to come to Rajasthan, see the forts, palaces and all yeah. that stuff. So oh. I said the cost of living was also low so we could build our own business and yeah. stuff. Yeah, that was all. That was all the reasons why we came to India. No other secrets? Secret reasons? No other secret reasons. <laughs> Even if I told you it wouldn't be a secret, there's a reason why it's called a secret. All right? of our friends on YouTube would know. So, that's why. I think that's it. Do you have anything else, Pooja? No. Okay, thank you. Cameo of Pooja today. Short and sweet. So that's it. That's all we got. That's why we ended up leaving Nepal. And I'm trying to think, are there other reasons? The final thing I guess is every time that I met somebody in Nepal, especially like an Indian, they're like, have you been to India? And I'm like, no. And they're like, but we're so close, you have to come. And so maybe that internally just motivated me, <laughs> manifested, motivated us, motivated me to come to India. So that's it. That's all we got for today. As always, thanks. Bye. <laughs>